I'm going to now list all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. Now guys, if you would like to know the brand that I use for uh, this recipe, uh, let me know or what I'll do, I'll probably link most of them in the description box below. Now as you can see here, I have here with me uh, two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm going to be using two tablespoons of oyster sauce as well. I have one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder. I have two tablespoons of sesame oil. I'm also going to sprinkle in a little bit of sesame seeds as well. I have here as well uh, one teaspoon of black pepper two medium-sized carrots, one half of a cabbage, an, an organic cabbage guys. We also have one leek that I'm going to clean and cut as well. Two cups of glass noodles. I have minced beef. I also have green onions that I'm going to be cutting up. That should run me about uh, two quarters of a cup. I have one cup of uh, bean sprouts and I'm also going to use two eggs. One will basically basically guys be used to um, seal the uh, rats and here I have with me the rats that I'm going to use. As you can see here guys these are already super thin which is going to make things easy and I'm going to show you how we are able to uh, wrap these little things and make them into something beautiful. Now guys, if you would like to know the brands that I've used, like I've mentioned I'm before, I'm going to link them in my description box below so you can check them out. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean and cut all the necessary ingredients and we will be uh, back to show you how I'm going to then put the wraps together. Okay guys, now that I've uh, chopped and cut and diced and do whatever it is that I needed to do with my other uh, ingredients, I'm now going to go ahead and show you how I put together uh, the mixture for the wrap. I'm going to begin by adding my mint beef. I'm going to go ahead head and go in with the uh, bean sprouts, in with the uh, leeks, green onions, carrots, and I'm also going to go ahead and add my cabbage as well. As you can see my bowl is massively pouring over but don't worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and mix it all in and we will begin by adding the uh, uh, seasonings as well. Now I think I'm going to have to transfer this into a bigger bowl. I'm not only making the wraps for today but I'm also making them that I can store a few of them into the fridge as sometimes at the end of my uh, work day I just don't want to be bothered by cooking anything so I can easily go into the fridge or my daughter can go into the fridge and grab them and, and whip us up uh, something uh, easy to snack on. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to transfer this into a bigger bowl that I can go in and mix all, all the ingredients together and I will be back. Right, here we are again guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and begin to add my uh, seasonings. I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, black pepper, uh, sesame seed oil, onion powder, 
your garlic powder. Soy sauce. And the uh, oyster sauce as well. Now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, glass noodles. Once I've done that, I'm going to go in and start to combine the ingredients. I'm not going to be using a spoon, I'm just going to chuck my hands in. I'm going to go to town with you guys. Call me whenever you need someone, babe And when you need to escape from a thousand fights I'm gonna kiss you wherever you are And I'm gonna miss you, I will never lie I'm now going to go ahead and add the sesame seeds and also the eggs and I'm going to continue to combine all the ingredients Right, and there you have it guys I'm now going to go ahead and give my hands a little wash and we are going to be back to show you how I'm then going to place the uh, mixture on the uh, wraps Look at that guys, I've made about 25 or 26 wraps. I'm now going to begin to fry and I'm also going to be freezing half of the amount. I've heated my oil. I'm now going to begin by adding the uh, stuff wraps. I'm going to put about four each time I begin to fry them I'm not going to crowd the pan. Now I'm going to allow them to fry until they are golden brown to ensure that the inside is cooked properly. Now guys at this point I do not have my heat turned up very high. There they are guys, I couldn't wait to share this recipe with you. Now remember if you give this recipe a go, do not forget to tag us in and let us know how you got on. Now thanks for watching guys and I will see you in our next upload.